Welcome to Ancient Tales by Kanala Channel, where we keep tales alive and forever. Episode 25, The Intelligent Language Skill of King Prapok Lao Zhao Yuhua, King Rama 7. Since the ancient time, the vision of our kings had been very right. We have started to send off our children to study in overseas since the era of Ayutthaya until Ratana Gosin. We can see from the historical record, especially during the reign of King Rama V, King Prajulajom Klao Zhao Yuhua, when his children, those little princes and princess, have come of the proper age, he sent all of his heirs to study abroad, to learn the differences, cultures, technologies, materials, including civilizations. We have seen until today a lot of proofs that, for those who had a chance to see the other side of the world, would be a very tremendous opportunity for them to do lots of good stuff for their own country. One of the skills it's required to communicate with other national is English, which of course, it makes Thailand stronger since then. Even though we have our own parents' tongue, which is Thai, trust me, our English skill is not beatable as well. The ancient tale today was the story regarding the intelligence of our King Rama Saban, King Prapok Lao Chao Yuhua, when he was traveling to USA to cure his eyes. In the meantime, to have an official royal visit with the government of the country and the local American people. He gave His Royal Grace a statement in English to talk to them at that time. We are honored to have a great opportunity to listen to his authentic and actual voice when he was making that particular statement. Thanks once again to Fox Movie Tone News, publisher at White Plain, New York, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, King Prapok Lao Chao Yuhua, he was the seventh king on the throne of Chakri dynasty. In the era of Ratana Gosin, which started in 1782, he was born on the 8th of November, 1893. He was the prince, the royal son of King Rama V, King Prachulajom Lao Chao Yuhua, and the queen mother, Sawapa Pongsi. His reign was started on the 26th of November, 1925, until the 2nd of March, 1935. Due to the change of the country regime, it was a total of over nine years on the throne. He was the king who passed away in overseas, and the royal cremation was conducted there by his one and only royal wife, Queen Rampai Panni, who later on brought back his royal ashes home as well. In addition, UNESCO had granted him the honor by becoming one of the world's most important persons on the 8th of November 1993, as a celebration to the 100th anniversary of his birthday. Thank you once again for watching Ancient Tales by Kanala, where we keep tales alive and forever. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We look forward to seeing you all again. Bye for now and have a good day.